Have you seen the movie uh, uh, American Gangster with mm, uh, Denzel? Uh, who's in it? Russell Crowe is in it with Denzel, right? Am I getting it right with Russell Crowe? Yes. Right. And then there's this scene where Russell Crowe is sitting there and he's got this person at the top that he's thinking is the main guy behind Blue Magic. I think it's called Blue Magic. Yeah. And, you know, he's the one that's doing it. And then all of a sudden he realizes, no, no, the guy out there, all the way at the top is... Frank Lucas, right? And a Frank Lucas, three quarters of a billion dollars during that time here. And anyways, later on, he comes in and he throws everybody else under the bus or whatever happened with the case at the end of the movie. But so you said Fitzgerald, Mueller. You say all these names, right? And the same thing they Call did me. to Trump. Comey, right? All these names you're saying. Who is the boss of them? That's t- like, who are they supporting? Who's the guy at the top when you play the same game? I'm not even sure I know. Um, I... I, I to this day, I'm still trying to sort it out and figure it out. I do believe that there was some collusion with uh, <clears throat> the Democratic House Speaker and Chairman of the Party, Michael Madigan, who's now facing federal intense federal investi- investigation. I do believe there may there was a collusion when they impeached me because they wouldn't allow me to play tapes. You see, here's the thing, you guys, Patrick and Adam. They taped me for six weeks. They played snippets, selected slip, snippets of conversation out of context to make me look bad. This is fucking gold and I'm not giving it up for nothing. That was the day after the election. That was the day after I was approached by this labor boss who said Barack called me the night before, wants to talk to you about a Senate seat. What do you want? So I mentioned that to my aides. We discussed what can we get for this? And there was no – they don't play the rest of the tape where – you know, the conversation is put in a proper context. They Do you need, have that? Do you have the recording? I have all those tapes. I've had them for years, but we're not allowed to play them publicly because immediately after they played those snippets and arrested me, they went right into court and got a seal order to keep those tapes under seal, and it's against the law if you release them. And then we tried repeatedly in court to play those tapes at the trials. I was promised by the judge in the second trial that if I agreed to testify, I could play the tapes to corroborate my testimony. So I agreed to get up there and testify because I knew that if I testified, I don't have the tapes. The prosecutor is going to do exactly what he did, and that is lie to the jury and say, go back to the jury room and see how many times you hear tapes corroborating what he says. Well, I get up there. They won't play the tapes. To this day, they won't play the tapes. And the tapes show a very different story from what they tried to have people believe. They are lying scumbags. They're corrupt motherfuckers. You can say that here, right? Yeah, you can. But, but, but Love you guys. And, and, you know, I was watching, <laughs> I just I, I was watching uh, uh, the part where you're That's like, cool. I'm going to testify. I will testify. Right. I'm going to show you. Wait till you hear it. I want everybody to be up there. I'm the opposite of a, uh, you know, Nixon. Nixon. Nixon said, no, I want, I want everything to be out there. And then when it comes down to it, you didn't testify. And you said your lawyer wanted you to testify, but the father encourage you to not testify because you don't have to. And you said something, if there's one thing that I'm guilty of is sometimes I you know, talk too much or right. something like that, you said, right? right. So why, from your end, I mean, mm-hmm. I've heard the answer on the documentary, unless if there's a different answer. Mm-hmm. Why didn't you eventually testify? If, that's, if you know you're innocent, why don't you testify? Right. Well, I did at the second trial. What you're talking about in that Hulu documentary is the first trial. Yeah. And at that point, their case was so ridiculously, not, there was no crimes, that the decision by the lawyers was, don't even bother putting a defense on. They proved nothing. And so therefore, if you don't put a defense on, you can't testify. So that's what happened. And all those charges, none of them were the, convic- the corruption charges. None of them were convictions. Okay, they were all uh, hung jury. So they, they declared a mistrial. I didn't realize they can try you forever. They try you a second time. If we didn't, if I was successful the second time, they'd try, tried me a third time. But uh, so they tried me the second time, and there I testified. On the promise by the judge that if I agreed to testify, I could play the tapes to corroborate my testimony. And the judge lied. And I got up there, and I wasn't allowed to play those tapes. And the prosecutor lied directly to the jury. He's a liar. His name is Reed Shar, And I challenged him to challenge me. He went up for the jury and lied and said, you heard him testify about the Senate seat. Go back into the jury room and hear how many times you hear tapes. If there were 102 conversations on that, on the one particular subject that he was accusing me of lying about, and he knew those tapes existed and they wouldn't play them. So if you enjoyed this little short segment from the podcast that we did, here's another short segment to watch. Or if you want to see the entire podcast, click over here. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.